you're back on track now. Good one, right. Okay, you ready? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Now, are you getting this on film? Yeah. Blimey, what's that for? <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Um, I need to film a dis sign a disclaimer or something. Right, um, yeah, before I start, guys, I do want to say this is only my opinion, yeah? So, um, hopefully, enough of you all will agree. There will probably be some disagreeing, but I'm going to start by saying how hard the ugly and generic is that building down. And it's the sort of thing, like I said, that a lot, a couple of years ago you weren't seeing in this part of London and we've got plenty more on the way. If you want to buy a one bed flat up there, you're paying at least half a million pounds. Now, the real, oh, hello. Uh, the real issue that I have with Nine all of million? this is that really not rare. that long ago, you could go to lots of different parts of London and uh, what you would find was standalone was interesting, was unique. You know, you'd go to Carnaby Street or Soho or the King's Road or Camden or any of those places and you would find something that was maybe a little rough around the edges but it had its own kind of vibe, its own sort of um, kind of just area. You, you go there now and what you get is generic. You get the same high street brand, you get the same get thing you get absolutely everywhere else. And this is one of the last parts of London that is still unique, that is still kind of standalone. But the changes that we've seen in the last few years are scary enough, and to think what is coming in the next few years is really quite terrifying, in honesty. It's starting with more and more of these, unfortunately. Now, there is still opportunity here. You know, what you've got here is a very, very unique part of London, particularly with all of the art going on. But you have to think that if it goes the way that it's always gone, in three or four years' time, you're going to see a very, very different part of London. Things changed kind of pretty, pretty in a big way for us in kind of November last year. Up until that point, Brick Lane had kind of been protected. So all you had were small independent businesses. Um, late November, Subway opened on Brick Lane. That being the first franchise that was allowed onto Brick Lane. And to really rub it in, it's opposite the two bagel shops, which are probably two of the most famous and two important shops that we have on Brick Lane. Now, the problem isn't Subway. You know, as much as I could go into that whole thing, I won't. You know, I've had a dirty subway every now and then, so as probably most of you here, but it's about a time and a place. You know, if you were to drop a, map, a, a, a kind of pin on a Google map in a mile radius of this area, you would find only two bagel shops, and they are pretty much a door apart. If you did the same with Subway, you'd find 11. You know, they've got another one a few hundred yards that way, another one down on Bishop's Gate. You know, why do we need another one on Brick Lane? Why do we need, you know, this is the thing, once Subway's been allowed, how long before Starbucks follows and takes over from the local coffee shop? How long before Sainsbury's and McDonald's turn up? How long before the high street of Brick Lane ends up looking the same as everywhere else? You know, that's the real problem, the real issue. And I'm not saying that gentrification is a bad thing. You know, gentrification can be a great thing when it's done in a balanced way. And, and also those places that I was talking about, of course they were gonna change, of course they were gonna develop, but did they have to be changed to such a point that what actually made them individual in the first place has to be moved aside and lost as it ends up looking the same as everywhere else. You know, I just think it's worth a little bit of thought. And the thing is, it's a global thing. It's a global problem, a, a broken system. And, you know, if there was a little bit more balance put in place, it could, it could work, I think. But unfortunately, you know, look at a building like that. You know, how much more characters a building like that have to a building like that? But unfortunately, it's cheaper, it's easier, and it's quicker to knock that down and build one of these and actually take a building like that and renovate it. You know, that's what we had here before. Knock it down and build one of these. I'll leave it there. Take what you want from that. But I think it's maybe worth a little bit of thought, you know, because, I mean, I feel very strongly about this. You know, I've lived in and around this area for a, a good eight, nine years or so. And I can tell you that that is generally the same thing that most of the global community feel here. Because the other issue is the lack of uh, kind of affordable housing. You know, social housing, like this whole thing, is at around about six or seven percent. You know, whereas everything else is half a million pounds for a bloody one bed flat. You know, it's pretty crazy how it's going in London and how it's going all over as well. And actually, I'm going to show you an example in just five or six minutes so to show that not all development has to be done in this way. You can do it in a way that is interesting, that is in keeping with the times, but very importantly, it's also keeping with the area. You know, and that's what I think is the kind of main, main thing that we want from this. If it's going to happen is a whole other thing. So, um, yeah. Engage me. If you agree with me, if you disagree with me, please bring it my way. I'm very used to being told I'm wrong, so there's no problem there. Um, as I predicted, we're all looking a little glum. Uh, so what we're going to do is show you probably three of my favourite pieces, and we're going to have a little bit of a pop quiz. 
so I can check who has actually been listening for the past hour or so, basically. So you've got that to look forward to, yes? Um, we're gonna go that way rather than that way because it's much more interesting, basically. So if you wanna follow me, we